Hi guys, Bran here. Morning Bran here. Man, it's been a while since we've had Morning Bran. I uh, still have my good old morning coffee and everything. Um, <laughs> usually when I'm making a video like this, it's because something urgent has happened, like a big update or something. But it is not the case. It's just uh, I have woken up, you know, everybody wakes up, they get on their little tiny computer, their phone, and they look at all their social media. It's, a, you know, like a morning ritual. A lot of people do that. And for like the past like four or five days, uh, the DC debate, the DC penalty debate has been up again. The giving up debate, whatever the frick you want to call it. I guess I'm a Minecraft duper now. I use the word frick. Um, <laughs> but anyways, the point being that I every, every time I've gotten to get on my social media today, uh, at the beginning of every single day, um, it's always been, ah, oh, people are giving up is unheard of. It's an unprecedented amount. So uh, the DC penalty needs to be skyrocketed to the sky. It needs to be, if you DC once, you cannot see your children for five days. Like just, just weird stuff like that. You know, like people being very intense about it. And um, I have had a lot of people giving up on both sides in my, um, my games of Dead by Daylight, whether it be playing Killer or Survivor. Uh, so uh, I have been seeing more people giving up, so there's some credence to that. But I feel like people's reactions to it are, uh, like with many cases in the Dead by Daylight community, uh, a little, little out there, a little weird. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. I've always been one of those people when it comes to the DC penalty, like, I am very lax and kind of eh about it. Because when it comes to Dead by Daylight, I like to whine and complain a lot. I'm sure that surprises nobody. Because at the end of the day, Dead by Daylight is just a video game. When it comes to real life stuff, I'm like, eh, it is what it is. It's kind of guy I am. I'm like, it is what it is. That sucks. I guess there's not much I can do about that, though. You know, there's a, a really old adage that I always forget off the top of my head. Um, but it's essentially like only tend to the gardens that you can water. And if, you know, your neighbor's garden's dying, it's not yours. So don't worry about it. <laughs> like only worry about the problems you can actually fix and change. Worrying about things that you can't fix and change is like a, like a one way ticket to stressing yourself out nonstop forever and you will be miserable. So it was always one of those things that like, yeah, somebody these things sucked. Yeah. Somebody giving up in the game sucked, but like that's where real life crosses with game. So I kind of have like less of a like I get less uppity about it. Like I, I will I will make like a like a 10 minute video being like mm, balance landing stupid. But like when it comes to something like that, I'm just kind of like, oh, well, I don't know why they DC'd. They could be DCing or giving up. I had somebody DC last week because they had to go pick up their kids <laughs> and they and they literally left me a nice little C message on my profile that like, hey, sorry about that. I had to go pick up the kiddos. At least I think that's what it was. Let me see. I, I just checked. It was that their kids woke up upset from a nap. It was not that he had to go pick them up. But yeah, you know, like the homie had to go be a dad. TLDR. <laughs> homie had to go be a dad was was the TLDR of what that situation was. And like, he's, yeah, of course your kids go first. Of course. Like, I, that sucks for your other teammates. But like, you know, like you, you of course, you being a dad goes first. Right. Like. And there's no way to be like, oh, well, if you don't want to play, just don't queue because you never know. <laughs> you never know. Kids are very unpredictable. There's a reason I only have a cat. <laughs> and he he alone is very unpredictable, aren't you? Aren't you very... Will, are you unpredictable? You want to come over here? Oh, aren't you unpredictable, sir? Aren't you unpredictable? Aren't you unpredictable, Will? Very unpredictable little guy. Frankly, little guy who loves destroying stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> thought you were going to, like, attack the mic stand there. Yeah, like, I try not to assume what... A reason for somebody DCing is and thinking I know better uh, and tell them what to do because that's where li real life comes in and real life is an unpredictable weird thing that often doesn't work in our favor so who knows right um, but um, I do think in general going the opposite direction of like no punishment no anything is the opposite extreme because of course there are people who DC at the the, the like the drop of a hat right I've had plenty of people I had a, I had a match uh, I don't know when this is gonna come out but I had, I had a match recently on uh, Borgo, where two P100s with really, really good builds uh, decided that, I guess just because I was Xenomorph, that they were going to give up in the first 20 seconds of the game. I am not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. The first 20 seconds of the game, they gave up. <laughs> and I I can guarantee that they were not, um, they were not giving up for any like normal reason because they weren't like 
gone. They were still in the game, just waiting for me to hook them three times to get them out of the game because they like they would move and stuff. So, <laughs> so there are definitely people out there who try to abuse the system and give up and create a nasty experience for their fellow teammates for no other reason than just I don't like this killer. Are you playing him fairly? <laughs> So striking the balance between the two of those is always very, very difficult. Um, I don't think that skyrocketing the DC penalty is the answer because this just entirely omits a problem that uh, exists in any online game uh, is that some people just don't have access to good internet. Um, I was actually talking about this with a friend who has their internet that goes out pretty frequently. And it's because they live uh, in a very, very like rural area. Hey, stop biting my Legos. Hey, 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 stop biting my Legos. I have these little, little Lego. <laughs> I have these little Lego uh, Pikachu evolutionary line because Raichu is my favorite, but he seems to think it's his, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was I was just talking to a friend who lives out in a really rural area who has really bad internet, and the issue that happens in situations like that is that the internet out there is bad because there's not a lot of people that live in these rural areas. Uh, but as a result, the you know there's no reason to really improve the infrastructure of the internet available there because there's not enough people to purchase the service to like essentially make them their money back so they just kind of leave it like that and that happens to a lot of people not only just in the u.s but a lot of places um so if you're gonna make the dc penalty like really extreme people who have terrible internet and that's like the only reason they end up beating a dc penalty like they're gonna be stuck and not really able to play the game for no other reason that uh, their internet infrastructure is bad. Or there's a financial incentives, right? Like internet plans are extremely expensive. Internet plans are extremely expensive and <laughs> people may not be able, always able to afford one that's entirely consistent. So forcing people to eat these giant DC penalties for things that are essentially outside their control does not make sense. Cause everybody just assumes like, well, if I just crank the DC penalty, we're gonna like up the punishment. The punishment's gonna be super severe and people are never gonna want a DC ever. But that is also going to adversely affect the people who just kind of inherently don't have good internet for things that are not their fault, which is not something we want to do. Ultimately, I think the DC penalty is in a fine place. But the other aspect of this is that when you DC, at least we get a bot. Right? At least when you DC, at least we get a bot, so not a, not ever going to be as good as a normal player. But I've been playing situations on Killer while I will have somebody DC uh, pretty late in the game, like like two or three gens. But that bot will still sit on gens and get gens done. And if I don't go after the bot, then like they, they do help the, uh, the rest of the team win. So they are a helpful asset and definitely better than somebody just being gone, which is different than what happens when they just give up on hook. The give up on hook mechanic was initially meant to be kind of a last ditch effort to kind of try try and 4% do something fancy and free yourself. Most times it does not work, but it was supposed to be just kind of like an exciting last ditch effort situation. But in reality, it doesn't really play out that way. It just kind of serves as somebody's give up, go next simulator, um, which is not great and not ideal. <laughs> um, my idea for this, uh, and I've talked about it a couple times in other videos, but here's its own dedicated spot, is that if we're really going to have you know trying to get yourself off of the hook be this like last ditch effort let's actually make it a latch ditch effort let's actually make it to where it only gives you the prompt or the availability to give up on hook last 10 15 seconds give or take of a hook state this should be mostly relegated to a situation where you realize for whatever reason whether it's gym before friends or a bunch of slugs whatever the reason happens to be but like the rest of the team is not coming to get you for whatever reason the the team has been prevented from coming to get you and now your only your only saving grace is this possible four percent um that's where this should be mostly relegated to um Will people still use it to give up? Yeah, but like they were, they will, they're already going to be like 10, 15 seconds from hitting second stage anyways. So it's, it's at least giving the rest of the team time to sort out that situation and go get the person. I've seen the take that like people will grief harder if you force them to stay through the means like this. But like, once again, we're not upping the DC penalty. So just like DC. Just, just eat the DC penalty, <laughs> right? Like we can't, we can't let the people who use the DC or give up situation nefariously like run the game, right? We can't, we can't appease them. But it just doesn't work that way. I don't know. I, that's what I had a hard time wrapping my brain around because I saw that take a lot on Twitter. It was like we can't make giving up on hook gone or or nerf it because then people will just grief at from that game point on, like. I feel like if you're the kind of person, walk with me here. I feel like if you're the kind of person to grief an entire team of people over something so minor, something so 
inconsequential that like you were probably likely to do that anyway <laughs> at like the drop of a hat if you were that like tilted and frustrated in that um angry about dead by daylight that you're gonna throw a whole game just because i don't know you queued up for a game and the game stopped you from giving up right away instead of just giving the team a bot like i feel like there's greater issues going on that like we can't solve with in-game mechanics <laughs> you know like we can't solve that with in-game mechanics you have you have issues with this game and that i don't think there's a behavior mechanic or anything that we can concoct as the community that will stop you from being a bad person <laughs> yeah the tldr uh, of this uh deals or dlc the dlc penalty <laughs> we're not talking about that other guy dlc the sin guy um dc penalty i think it's fine as is um don't pump it up because like you never know why people are leaving also internet issues would make you know accumulating dc penalties a nightmare if they were really big um in terms of the give up on hook situation just reserve it for the end of the first stage that way it's not uh, just an immediately accessible give up tool um that way they actually have to think they actually have to think about do i want to do this and also give the team an uh, like the opportunity that if things are going awry it was applying a lot of pressure or they stuck the gens and just forgot that they still have a chance to go get you yeah what do you guys think do you think that people giving up is a major problem right now and what would you do to fix it do you agree with my takes or do you think i'm a big dumb idiot well your free speech you do whatever you want in the comments friend well, that's gonna be it for today's video but i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye